So I often walk into these organizations, and you know, one of the first things that I hear is um, our clients are more and more out of control. Um, our programming isn't as good because of all of the state and county mandates and requirements. Um, things are out of control because, um, because our clients are just more dangerous. And I challenge these organizations to turn the mirror inward, okay? Because it always starts with us, right? If, if, if we want safety for our clients, we have to feel safe as a staff. If we want them to be emotionally regulated, we have to be emotionally regulated as a staff, as a CEO admin team, as a clinical team, as a milieu team, um, as the cooking team. Um, so so I, I encourage agencies to take a look at who they are because our clients show us a lot of beautiful and touching things, right? But one of the things I really appreciate about what they show us is they show us how our organizations are operating, okay? They, they show us uh, what vulnerabilities we have within ourselves. They show us the cracks in the organization. They show us the weaknesses in our teams. And we owe it to them to look at that, to look at what they're showing us. You know, we were trained in mental health to think that policies and procedures and strategies and interventions and words fix people. Programming, safety plans, relapse plans, that those fix people. I was trained just like you in college. In fact, I teach in universities. And I'm here to tell you, words don't fix people. Words don't fix people. And yet that is what we think will help our clients. What will help our clients is feeling safe. I said this before, our clients will regulate to the point that we are regulated every single time. So let's talk a little bit about what that looks like. When I break the brain into three very simple segments, there's three parts. Prefrontal lobe, right here, right up here in your forehead. Prefrontal lobe is developed when we're 25 years of age, okay? Our prefrontal lobe is responsible for executive thinking, uh, cause and effect thinking, logical reasoning. How many of you have children and how many of you have said to your kids, why do I have to tell you to clean your room every morning? Why? Why do we have to go over this every single day? Or this one, how many of you have said to your kids, did you not think about the consequences before you did that? No, the answer is no, they didn't think about it because the prefrontal lobe isn't developed yet. Next, in the middle of our brain is the neocortex. Our neocortex is responsible for language, for thoughts, when we have something to say, when we sit down with you and we can do a safety plan, we're using our neocortex. Lastly, there's the limbic system. It's in the back of our brains. Limbic system is responsible for all of our emotions. Fear, terror, contentment, peace, happiness, all of it lives in the limbic system, as do our responses to those emotions. In the limbic system is where our fight, our flight, our freeze, faint, fornicate, and feed all, lead, all live. And we'll talk about those later, later on today. When we stress, we regress, okay? When we stress, we regress. And we go back to the primal, the very primal parts of our brain. It's just how it works, folks. How many of you have been sitting next to a client, 
You open their file, it says resistant on it. Your client sits there, you're wanting to do an intake with him or her, and she sits there like this, arms crossed, silent, not answering any of your questions, not saying anything, not making eye contact. You ever been around a client like that? Maybe anybody even in your personal life. As soon as the conversation goes tense, it gets uh, conflictual, the other person goes silent. They're stressed and they're regressing to the primal parts of their brain. Okay, fight, flight, freeze, fornicate, feed, and faint. That's where those live. That person is flighting, they're leaving, they're scared. Other end of the spectrum, have you ever met with a client who responds to you by attacking, getting verbally defensive, saying, you don't care about me, you're only here for the paycheck. Right, how many of you have heard that one before? How many of you have somebody in your personal life when the, ten when the conversation gets tense, they start getting real defensive and blaming? Same thing, they're scared, they're stressed, they're regressing and going to their limbic brain and they're fighting. Okay, that's a perfect example of fight and flight right there. We see it every day with our clients, don't we? When we regress, we tend to act half of our chronological age. Okay, what I mean by that is we're impaired. Our language, our thinking is impaired. We can't make a safety plan with you. We can't talk about what's going on with you. We couldn't do it even if we wanted to because the blood is not traveling to that part of the brain. The blood is not, is not traveling to our language, thought, part of our brain. The blood is flowing to our extremities, to our arms, to our legs, so that we can fight, fight, or freeze. Okay? Who else in our society cannot access their cognitions and their language? That's right, I heard it. Babies. Little babies. And how do we respond to babies? We have a cadence to our voice. We have a tone that's, that's calm and soothing. We lower our tone. We fold our body inward. And we offer reassurance. Shh, I got you. You're OK. You're safe. I'm here. I'll take care of you. I got you. Why don't we treat our clients that way when they are in their limbic brain. Every single one of them has been traumatized. Every single one of you has been traumatized. What we need before we can follow your rules and your policies and your procedures and do your crisis plans and talk to you about um, how we're going to use healthy coping skills, before we can go to our happy place, before we can count to 10, before we can do any of that, we have to have safety. They will regulate to the point that you are regulated. If there is not safety in your organization, if you are not emotionally regulated from the top down in your organization, do not expect your clients to be. 